In this video, we'll see how to perform non-parametric tests in Jump. For information on non-parametric correlations, see the non-parametric correlations video or one-page guide. For this example, I'm using the car physical data example dataset that's available in the sample data directory. For one sample non-parametric tests, we'll use analyze distribution. We'll select one or more continuous variables and enter them into Y columns. In this case, I'll choose horsepower and drag it into Y. When we click OK, Jump will display the standard distribution output. To obtain hypothesis tests, we'll go to the red triangle and select Test Mean. Here, we can enter in the hypothesized mean for our variable of horsepower. I'll enter 140. And to request the non-parametric test, I'll check the box for the Wilcoxon signed rank. When I click OK, Jump returns both the one sample t-test and the one sample signed rank test. The test statistics, the t-ratio and signed rank, are available in the table, as are the p-values for both one and two-tailed tests. The p-value for the two-tailed test is listed next to probability greater than the absolute value of t. The graph below is a representation of the sampling distribution of the mean. Here we can see our obtained sample statistic, 130.198, and its eccentricity relative to the null hypothesis we specified. The shaded region to the left of our obtained sample statistic is our one-tailed p-value. There are additional options available under the red triangle for test mean, including the option to look at a p-value animation. To perform two sample tests and one-way non-parametric tests, we'll use Analyze Fit Y by X. Next, we'll select a continuous variable for our Y response and a categorical variable for our factor. In this case, I'll choose country as my X variable and weight as my Y. When I click OK, Jump returns a dot plot showing us the observations for weight inside of each country. To obtain the non-parametric test, we'll go to the red triangle, then to the non-parametric section, and select one of the options. Here, I'll request the Wilcoxon test. If our X variable has two levels, the Wilcoxon rank sum test is performed, along with a two-sample normal approximation. If our X variable has three or more levels, as in this example, the kruskal wallis test is performed. For paired data, we can use analyzed matched pairs, and in Jump Pro, exact versions of the non-parametric tests are available. 